Hello and welcome to another video. I'm Maz and today I'm in Cribs. And in today's video, I'll be doing a video on this Lotus Amira. Now I've already done a video inside the showroom on a V6, but this particular one is a two liter, possibly the model that I might buy, hopefully in the next two years. A huge thank you to Ryland Lotus Cribs Causeway for this opportunity. And one of the main cars that I've been considering on swapping my F-Type for is actually one of these. A quick overview, the Lotus Amira was launched in 2023, replacing the old Evora, and bridges the gap between traditional Lotus and the electric future. This is also their last petrol powered car as well, available with a two liter four cylinder twin turbo from Mercedes AMG or a three and a half liter supercharged V6 from Toyota. And whilst the styling looks like it was inspired by six figure supercars, price wise it's more competitive to the Porsche Cayman. In fact, here's one of their new electric cars, the Electra. So here's the front of the Emira, looks exactly like the V6, so no design differences with the type of engine. Here's the Lotus emblem, it's in yellow, though I would have it in black. So this colour is called Seneca Blue, and it's got the black pack, so the roof is black, and so are the mirrors. And I really, really wanted a mirror after the F-Type, and this is probably the spec I would go for. Seneca blue with the black pack and possibly either black or diamond cut wheels. Coming to the side, it looks very much like an Huracan, only for a fraction of the price. It's mid-engine, so it has the intake on the side. Just like on a Jag or an Aston, the door handles are flush. And just like a Lambo, you got very hexagonal design details. This is a first edition, so it has all of the options fitted in as standard. There will be a base version coming shortly. This particular one is the Tour chassis, so it has the Goodyear Eagle F1s fitted on. You can get a sport chassis, which comes with Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Interestingly, you get two calipers, so the back one is actually for the parking brake. And this particular one has yellow calipers. Coming to the back, Still looking like a Lambo. And interestingly, you can see the wheels through these intakes. And you get the Lotus triangles on the inside of the exhaust tips. Black emblem, since this car has a black pack. And once again, even the tail lights look very Lambo-like. Coming to the back. Here's the boot. Again, same as the V6. Unfortunately, the engine is covered up for the 2-litre. Just like a Maserati MC20, you get three portals over here and three on the other side. Coming to the business end now. What an interior. Because this car is an evolution from the old Evora, the body kit is actually stuck to the chassis. This has the KEF audio sound system. Alcantara interior with yellow stitching and despite being a two-seater You still have the ability to fold the seat forward There's even a little coat hook on the headrest and some storage in the back where the back seats would have been on the old Evora Steering wheel is full leather so you have to pay extra if you want an Alcantara steering wheel and of course only two pedals since the two litre is only available with DCT and only the V6 comes with a manual or a torque converter automatic Though your one consolation are these very lovely metal paddles Now sitting inside you wouldn't expect that you're sat in a Lotus So as I mentioned, it's got the metal paddles. It's got the nice Nappa leather steering wheel Alcantara if you prefer and you get a digital gauge display. Just like a Mercedes, the steering wheel is ever so slightly offset to the left. 
because Lotus is part of Geely and so is Volvo. You get Volvo switch gears around here and here and here. Not that I'm complaining. You do get a glove box, which is very generous. And even the leather on the owner's manual is very, very nice. You get Emira branded floor mats, decent storage on the doors, two cup holders, one deeper than the other. Storage in between the two seats. Storage behind the two seats, as I mentioned. And an infotainment system. And of course the DCT selector. And Volvo indicator stalks. This is what the infotainment system looks like. This is the home screen, so you get tire pressure. And the touch screen is very responsive. Definitely better than the in control system that you get on the F-Type, so you can look at G meter, lap time, stats, guidance, or in this case nav, and you also get settings on how you want to alter your vehicle. And you also get wireless, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And if you look at the climate control menu, the person has a racing helmet on. And yes, you even get heated seats. And the silhouette of an Amira on the airy circulation. On the V6 manual over here would be exposed gear linkages, but with the auto and the DCT, you just get extra storage, big enough to store this phone and two-way fully electric memory seats. This particular car has Alcantara headlining with Alcantara sun visors. The driver does not get a vanity mirror but the passenger one does so to mitigate that you can just order a left-hand drive passenger sun visor and fit it onto here and you also get lights for the vanity mirror. Being a first edition, you get this first edition emblem here, and the start stop button has a cover, just like a Lamborghini, and also have a cutout in case you don't want to lift it up. So that's the exterior and interior done now, so let's see what this car is like to drive. So I've not sat in the Amira since I was unable to film the driving section, but I can tell you what the driving was like. So from driving perspective, it does drive a little stiffer than the Cayman or the F-Type. But interestingly, interior-wise, it feels less cramped than in both the Cayman and the F-Type, despite only being a two-seater and mid-engined. And of course, being cab forward, you can see out of the car a lot better than both the Cayman and the F-Type. It is still very fun to drive, despite being a two-pedal car and no manual gearbox being available on the 2 litre Amira. When you put your foot down it does make a nice noise and even if you just lift off from the accelerator it makes some really nice turbo whistle. Furthermore I would say it's a very dailyable car. It's very easy to maneuver around tight spaces and narrow B roads which I used um, especially going through Easter Compton and the rural parts of South Gloucestershire and whilst you don't get the metal gear selector like you get in the V6 manual the Paddles do feel very, very nice to operate. And to go into manual mode, you simply pull a paddle. And to go back into auto, you just pull and hold on the up paddle. Overall, I would say the car exceeded my expectations. And I'm really, really tempted to get one to replace the F-Type. Maybe in the next two or three years. Though, I would say it's definitely in the short list. Whether or not I end up buying an Amira in the foreseeable future remains to be seen. So... Overall verdict, it definitely drives better than the F-Type from a sporting perspective, though it is a little stiffer on the suspension, but for me it's very, very negligible. But if, if you prefer to have a more cosseting ride, the F-Type definitely rides better. But really, I'm just nitpicking. After all, a Lotus is more of a sports car than a Grand Tourer. In stop-start traffic, the car cossets very well. It's still easily daily drivable and because you've got a shorter bonnet it's easier to maneuver around than in the F-Type 
and on an A road as well as a B road it is very fun to drive and very dynamic and of course you can always change the drive modes with the drive selector down here as well. If you are a Lotus owner, if you own an Amira yourself or any other model and you would like me to review your car please feel free to reach out to me either in the comments down below or on Instagram as I would like to redo a video on the Amira whether it's a V6 Auto, V6 Manual or a 2 litre and potentially see how each of these models compare with one another. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me try out this Lotus Amira. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are new, ring the bell, step speed, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.